what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in that chucky featurette that we got a few weeks ago on july 25th when the official trailer dropped with the uh legacy of chucky panel at comic-con at home we saw a lot of things that we didn't see in the actual trailer that they showed at the end of that feature at that like two two minute long trailer that we got for the upcoming tv series that we now know will be premiering on october 12th later this year on the sci-fi and usa network at 10 p.m eastern if you're in the eastern time zone uh what i want to talk about though as you see in the thumbnail was in the fact that in that featurette we actually did get a glimpse at the woman who will be portraying the role of charles lee ray's mother so we actually got our first look at chucky's mother i'm pretty certain of that during that featurette this image you see here on your screen um we see a woman who is turning around looks like she might have been fixing herself up in that mirror or doing something to to her looks um, or just getting ready for bed and she's turning around and who do we think is in front of her my best guess is that's charles lee ray little charles lee ray and that's this actress is according to imdb marissa mcintyre and her name in the show will be elizabeth ray now again elizabeth ray from what i'm just gathering this is most likely charles lee ray's mother that we're seeing here on your screen right here her name being Elizabeth. Now I know that some of you who probably jumped down in the comment sections, there's already been something that's been uh, established between Chucky and the relationship he had with his mother, but that was never actually showcased in any of the films at all. But so it's gonna be for the very first time in this, I'll say Mancini continuity, Don Mancini continuity, that we'll have a narrative as it relates to Chucky's mother. Cause we already know that this TV series will be taking place in Hackensack, New Jersey, and it'll be touching on the things that happened to Charles Lee Ray as a kid that led to him becoming, led to him becoming the Lakeshore Strangler. So Elizabeth Ray, what role did she play in Charles Lee Ray's childhood? Other than being his mother, what was their relationship like? My best guess is, the relationship at home while it was my my hope is that it was a healthy relationship between mother and son but perhaps there's something that the mother was doing that leads to an issue for the son this son of course being charles lee ray just how sydney prescott had a good relationship with her mother mother daughter dynamic was completely healthy there in that regard but maureen's other issues that she had going on in her life created problems for sydney later on now sydney as we know and as we hope will continue she managed to overcome those problems and come out on the other end of society still standing strong she's a well successfully published author now at this point we can't wait to see what happens to her in screen five chucky charles lee ray as we know and as i'm just still speculating if what in fact happened was that his mother was down in some dirty dealings in the town of hackensack that of course would have had a negative impact on a very young boy who had to lose his mother and then who knows what he went through after that and then unfortunately on the other side of that he did not come out as a good citizen he has now been completely warped he sees humanity completely differently and I'm, I'm i'm willing to bet this has a lot to do with the relationship between him and his mother and maybe w what may or may not have happened to her when he was a little boy and that'll factor into how his mind has been shaped and how he got into the mentality of where he's at and some of the things that set the stage for him growing up to be the lakeshore strangler what could she have been doing i don't know again i'm only speculating that she was up to no good something that she of course kept her son out of but you can only do that for so long until if you're doing things that you don't want anyone else finding about you can only do that for so long depending on what that is until it starts affecting the people you love and i feel like that's what happened between charles and elizabeth and this of course will have a negative impact on charles as a little boy and this will then bridge us into whatever else we get to see that addresses his childhood and how that shaped who he grew up to be that now is this demented killer <laughs> that's now of course as we know in this pint-sized killer doll named chucky so that was our first look i'm pretty certain of chucky's mom 
can't wait to see how this actress portrays this character i'm not really familiar with her work maybe i've seen her in other stuff if you're familiar with with this actress marissa mcintyre let me know down in the comment section it says here over on imdb that she's only going to be in two episodes now again imdb isn't necessarily completely 100 percent reliable most of the time if you have an imdb pro account because i've had one in the past you can kind of fact check some of the stuff that's listed there such as like actors appearing in movies if you have imdb pro it gives you access to see like their resume look at their agency listing website contact their agent even i'm just speaking from my experience because i i did that with jeepers creepers were born <laughs> but going back to the whole dynamic between charles and his mother you know when as children our parents are supposed to set the foundation for or that's that's what i'll say society at least the society i'm familiar with western society i guess your parents set the foundation for what is going to be not necessarily how your life goes but they're setting the stage for what you as a young person who's still learning you're looking up to them for guidance and you want to know how to navigate this world you're going to learn that by seeing what they do so then when that navigation completely takes an unexpected turn what do you as a child child do what direction does chucky go did charles go what what happened to him after his mother whatever happened to her because again i'm i'm certain that something happened to his mother i'm certain she either a got killed or she was sent away to prison or something 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 uh let's just say tragic happened to this woman because i don't see not to say that they can't factor his mother in for other reasons but i i feel like there's a reason his mother is going to be introduced in the tv series outside of just saying hey you know this is this is charles's mom you're getting to meet chucky's mom no 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 chucky's mom was up to no good <laughs> and that is going to play a factor in how chucky ended up becoming who he is today i'm pretty certain that's what's going to be the case i hope it's not something that's overly dramatic in the sense that in the sense that i just hope this this sympathetic edge he's about to be given doesn't put a like wrench in how we see him already as this brutal killer but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course go ahead and just subscribe turn on post notification so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future in mind guys i will see you in the next video